My friends, I'm shooting with a GoPro Hero 12. And uh, it's, it's very early morning here, about 6.30 a.m. Just want to see how this looked in the low light. I have no handle or anything on the GoPro. I'm just holding it in my hand. See how the colors and all look. Now I'm shooting in 10 bit, highest quality 5.3K at 30 frames per second. I'm just wanting to test the focus. I'm about 10 inches from that rose there. Oh, I've got a lot of stuff to do in the yard. <clears throat> I mowed, mowed some last night. Here's a fig tree that I planted last year. It's taken off. It's about seven feet tall now. Hendrix is out here with me. There is some lumber and stuff down there where I'm going to set up a, a uh, frame to uh, hang a, that park bench with. A little brush pile I'm going to have to burn. <clears throat> Here's Hendrix. <laughs> Just wanting to see how the video looks. I've been buying Hero since version 3. I bought a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, a 7. I think I skipped 8. I have a 9, a 10, a couple of 11s. And I've used them for so many things over the years. <clears throat> People use them as action cams for sure. But for me, they're very convenient. That One of the things they're really great for is shooting concerts and weddings and multi-camera events. You know, you're gonna spend $400 for a camera that shoots a very wide field of view and very high resolution and you can reframe the shots using Premiere or after or a Final Cut. And uh, it's, it's been super handy for me. I can do, you know, I did a wedding uh, a few weeks ago and uh, used like five GoPros and a couple of zoomable like Sony cameras, A6400, A6600, but I had the GoPros kind of hidden in spots. It was beautiful. It was really neat to be able to cut those little well-placed GoPro shots into the uh, I think Hendrix just pooped in the yard, and he almost never poops in the yard. So we're going to investigate that. Not that you want to see dog poop, but to me it's important. <laughs> he almost never poops out here, but I think he did. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Come on, let's get a low action shot of the dog. Oh my gosh, look at the dog. Look at the dog. Hey, don't get crazy with me now. So this is all pretty low light right now and I'm gonna take it out and see how, how the shots look I've got I think I've got the steady shot 6.0 on you gonna chase this thing here you go oh <laughs> he ran right in front of me when I threw it <laughs> I hit him with it it's soft rubber though okay well that didn't work the way I wanted it to So like I said, I don't know how this is going to look. This, this is just a test. My first initial tests, test. But yeah, the GoPro for me has been a very flexible camera for not just action shots. It's funny watching him chase a ball that there's no way he can fetch it. I'm not even attempting to hold the steady. So I'm just seeing how does the steady shot work on it. It is a, uh, what's that, 16th, 16th of uh, September. I'll throw something else for you. I'll throw something you can get. That's, uh, I was going to get it before I can get it. Yes. Now, I was going to throw that for you. Here, let me throw it. Okay. The challenge in my yard now is that challenge in my yard now is that there's almost no place I can throw a frisbee without it hitting a tree. It's always funny when he 
you can barely see that thing over his eyes. <laughs> so my action this morning is being provided by a golden doodle. <laughs> It's a Saturday morning. Just like I said, just crawled out of bed. Nikki's fixing her coffee. And I thought I would just test this thing. That is my buddy right there, folks. He's, he's a pretty good dog. You're a pretty good animal, aren't you? Okay, we're going to go in and take a look at this. Throw it on the camera, on the, um, macbook pro i just want to see number one how is the how big is the video in 10 bit is it manageable is it easy to edit just thought i'd shoot different shapes and <laughs> vistas in the backyard here's another fig tree we planted a bunch of fig trees Let's see if i got any figs coming in i think they're all gone off this one this one's grown a lot. That one over there too. I love figs. Got my peaches. Got some pear trees. And the pink lady over here only has a couple apples left. Apples were pretty good this year. Not great. Hendrix loves to eat these things. There's a few up there still in the tree. Also, it should be said I'm shooting in the wide field of view right now, not linear. All right, we'll take a peek at this and see how uh, what my first impressions are. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like with a flat look and also with some color, uh, color corrections.